31 Days, 31 Seeds, Encouraging Lives by Sowing Seeds of Hope and Determination. Day 14. We are on the topic of forgiveness. And I know, I know, it's hard to forgive some of those people who have really, really wronged you. And we're going to save that for later. Today we're still on the topic of forgiving you. Today what I would like you to forgive is to forgive yourself for the emotions you may have had or have in regards to a situation. To forgive your emotions, to forgive your anxiety, to forgive your depression, to forgive any intense sadness you may have had or have, to forgive any fears, to forgive yourself if you didn't take that chance and you missed an opportunity, to forgive yourself if you were really angry about a situation that you just didn't understand. To forgive yourself for having anxiety, even if it's just anxiety for stepping into the shower. Forgive yourself if you feel depressed and sad. We all have these emotions. Sometimes we judge ourselves for the emotions that we have. Think about yourself and maybe some of the ways that you may speak in a derogatory tone to yourself about certain things you may have done and maybe you didn't know better at the time or things that you don't even understand why you feel that way. And people say to you, ah, well you shouldn't feel that way. Nobody feels that way. Well you do. If you feel that way, I want you to accept it. I want you to sit with it. I want you to forgive yourself for not accepting yourself right where you are this very moment. Whether you feel anxious, depressed, whether you haven't taken a shower in months and you're wearing the same sweater every day with the same jogging pants, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Today for day 14, seed 14. I want you to forgive yourself for any emotion that you have. Even if you don't understand why you have it and you think that you shouldn't, guess what? You do. And it's okay. The first thing to being able to heal ourselves is to be able to understand why we feel the way that we do. With seed 14, what I'm really asking you to do is pull the weeds out of your heart so you then can nurture the soil and you have a very good foundation to start planting new seeds that sprouts the most beautiful garden within your heart. It changes you and how you view yourself, truly. That's what it boils down to. We create the world in which we live. I know a lot of people express that comment and you think it's more of a material thing. It really is in the mind. It really is this matrix, so to speak. Our eyes are the projector. Whatever movie is playing in our mind is what we project through our eyes out to the world. That's how we meet and interact with anyone and everyone, including ourselves. All I'm asking you to do is change that reel that's inside your projector to one of forgiveness. It's okay to be who you are. It's okay to feel the way you are. And it's okay to love you just the way you are. Day 14, seat 14, forgive you for any emotion that you may have. Because I love you, I want you to love you, and I want you to live in a beautiful garden. I will see you tomorrow. Day 15, seed 15.